Welcome to the September update of the Terraces at the Grove Resort. I'm Justine Assal, Director of Sales and Marketing for the Grove. And as you can see, I'm now standing in the parking lot of the Terraces where we've completed the first asphalt pour. In our last video, you could see we were moving mounds of dirt all over the site. At this point, that underground work has completed and we now have the rough mechanicals for the electric, the plumbing and the air conditioning. As you can see behind me where the actual building is about to come up, all of those pipes are sticking up and ready for the next stage. Since our update last month, you can see we've come a long way, but now starts the fun part. We currently have the towers for both the stairs and the elevators being engineered, and those will be installed over the next few weeks. We expect the foundation to be poured in October. So once the stair and elevator towers are in and the foundation has been poured, next we go vertical and framing begins. Over the coming months, as we work toward the completion of your vacation home, we're very aware and appreciative that you've put your faith in BTI partners and also in the Grove Resort and Water Park. But you're also investing in Orlando, in our community. And I'd like to give an update on what's happening locally. One of the big news stories locally is that our Orlando International Airport has just completed construction of the third terminal, which is Terminal C. This new terminal opened on September the 20th. It was a $2.8 billion investment into our community and will facilitate an additional 12 million passengers each year. Also at Orlando International Airport, the new Brightline station is open. In 2023, we'll expect that station to connect Orlando to both West Palm Beach and to Miami. Eventually, it will then go on to Tampa. So what does all of this have to do with you purchasing a vacation home at the Grove Resort and Water Park? Well, it means more visitors, it means more occupancy. And Orlando, as you can see, is investing in the fact that those numbers will continue to grow. In fact, pre-pandemic in 2019, we had 75.9 million visitors that year, the highest we've ever received. 2022, according to Visit Orlando, is now on track to match that. More visitors, more guests, more room nights, and higher demand. Things are looking promising in Orlando's future. But something that you may not know is that over 80% of Orlando's workforce is employed in industries outside of tourism and leisure. We're now number two in the nation for job growth, and Orlando's population is growing by over 1,000 people every week. Things are looking very promising in Orlando's future, and we can't wait for you to join us. So we'll see you next month where we'll have more updates and take care, everybody. We are going to be hard at work.